think we're starting a stream. I think this is it. Hello. Are Hello? we are we doing a stream? Hello? Are we Hello? streaming? That sounds like people that I stream stuff with sometimes. Huh. I mean, we're definitely talking. Yeah. Yes, you are streaming. Cool. <laughs> That's streaming. good. Look, I'm sorry. I was streaming earlier, but then I came back over here because I was done with that. I'm just going to say nothing is certain in this world because I'm using my capture card for the second time. And so hopefully everything's okay. Hopefully the levels are all right. And we are on the stick after dark. Right. Yes. We look outside. It's very dark. We are after dark. Uh, along with, uh, I got Kurt. I am here. Thank you. I've got Eric. Hey, Mike. And I've got my Turbo Graphics PC Engine Sherpa for the night, uh, Joe Drilling. I'm just here to headbutt everything in sight. Mm hmm. Um, and, and Alex is also meat. here. And Alex yeah. is somewhere in the background being Big pretty quiet. Uh, hello. There you go. Yeah, uh, I fix it. Yeah, <laughs> so Turbo Graphics, there's that thing coming out. It's a little tiny Turbo Graphics 16 console. And for once in my life, I'm not going to buy one because now I have a Mr., which also is. Got lots of Turbo Graphics stuff, uh, but uh, I figured I'd take a look at this stuff because I'd never really played any Turbo Graphics or PC Engine games in any depth except for Rondo of Blood. Um, but I know that there's a whole bunch of them out there. Those, especially the Japanese catalog, is pretty uh, pretty hefty, and so I thought maybe Joe could uh, give me some suggestions. We could try a few things out. I can definitely give you some suggestions. We could definitely uh, try some things out. Obviously, somewhere in there, you got to play JJ and Jeff. No, oh, that's true. Right? Well, actually, uh, Kato, I don't remember if it was Kato or Ken just recently passed, so I think you should play the original Japanese Kato-chan and Ken-chan mm -hmm. version as a proper send-off for either Kato or Ken, whichever one just died. Yeah, well, I'm going to assume he's the guy in the mask here, since you asked me to start by playing Splatterhouse, so... Uh... I like that we're going to show respect to someone whose name we can't quite be sure that we have correct. Well, they were a real... They were a real... <laughs> Comedy duo, and I can't remember which sure. one. Sure, no, I get it. You're like, one of these two dudes we'd like to honor, the other one, fuck him. Well, one of them is dead, and one of them is still alive. So. Ken, Ken died on March 30th. Ken Shimura. There you go. Yes. Yeah, the important part was that you couldn't remember which one it was. That's what I was joking. Sorry, March 29th. Rest in peace, Ken Shimura. So we'll play Kato and Ken later, though. We'll start with. So I, I think Splatterhouse is a good place to start because it's sort of the ur text of, of horror action games. Um, oh, my two by four. I mean, you know, there were games like Castlevania and there were games like Ghouls and Ghosts, but the, the first game that certainly in arcades or on a console that I ever remember really trying to tap into an actual modern horror movie aesthetic like Castlevania is paying homage to the universal horror movies of the 30s and 40s, right? But this game is paying tribute to Evil Dead and The Deadly Spawn and Friday the 13th and, yep. you know, all of that. And there really wasn't a game... It's right there in the name. Yeah, yeah, Splatterhouse, right? So, um, and this is the game that I remember seeing a spread about this game in an issue of GamePro when I was seven years old, I guess, thereabouts. And even though I was a giant baby and I was scared of my own shadow when I was little, I was still, like, fascinated with horror stuff. Like, I would I would go to the local video store and, like, open mouth stare at the VHS boxes at our local video store of, in the horror section. Terrified to ever watch any of those movies. Um, and so this game, right, right. And, and so this game really, really struck a chord with me seeing it in, in that. And I didn't know there was an arcade version, so I never actually. This arcade cabinet is not very common. Now I've been to arcades where it exists, but I never saw one back I've, in the day. I've never seen one. Yeah, the Galloping Ghost in Chicago has one, and actually, uh, Up Down in Milwaukee has one. I certainly but, always thought of it as a console game. Whenever yeah. I would buy a non Nintendo Power gaming magazine, you'd see ads for these games. Yeah. Um, and it wasn't until Splatterhouse 2, though, that I actually ended up playing a Splatterhouse game, because that came out of the Genesis, which by that time I had, but I never got a TurboGrafx in the day. I got my TurboGrafx about 10 years ago, or my PC Engine, I should say, about 10 years ago. So I got a TurboGrafx when it came out. Really? No. Really? Yeah. I don't think I knew You and 14 like... other people yeah. in the continental United yeah. States. Yeah, yeah, it was a very, you know, there was like one tiny, tiny, you know, set of shelves in the... In the uh, Babbage's that had 
turbo graphics stuff in mind. Um, and the first two games I got were Bonk's Adventure and this. There you go. Yeah. So I, I um, also the U.S. cover to this game is actually all of the covers to this game are are very good um, in different ways. But um, I the reason I never got a Turbo Graphics back in the day is going back to that video store where I used to stare open mouth agape at the uh, at the VHS horror boxes. The the guy who ran that store um, was really friendly, got along with all the kids in the neighborhood and, all, and obviously all the parents. Uh, and uh, I remember to asking my parents for a Turbo Graphics, and Don, the owner of the video store, um, told my parents that he had no intention of carrying Turbo Graphics games because it was already like dying in the U.S. A slow agonizing. Right. And you know, so my mom ended up, you know, telling me like, "Well, you can have a Super Nintendo or a Genesis, uh, but I'm not going to give you Turbo Graphics because you wouldn't be able to rent games," which was how I primarily experienced games in those sure. days. And, she was like Those U cards were expensive. They were. How uh, did they compare to like uh, Super Nintendo? I mean, Super Nintendo games were expensive as hell. So. They were. They were. They were in the yeah. forty to sixty dollar range, depending on the game. Yeah. Um, so I was obsessed with the Turbo Graphics for a long. I, I never fully let go of that. You know that I wanted the Turbo Graphics and never got. Of right, course, because like, you never because you never got one. So there's right. like the Holy Grail. You're like, oh, that's been awesome. If I had one. Right. And then as I got older, I realized, well, obviously the Japanese can figure. Like, there's you know 400 Q card games and 500 CD games or whatever it is in Japan. Wow, and, there are more CD you know, games than Q card are, games. There are more CD games than Q card games, um, which is unfortunate for this Mr. Core because currently it only supports Q card. Um, Tell me about it. Or CD games yet, although I'm there dead. are people working on that. This is also like honestly one of the one of the weakest cores on the Mr. Um, Apparently, it was reworked currently, pretty recently. I think it's in the midst of a rework. I think. Um, I, I, thought, I thought that they did some like pretty big timing upgrades recently, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm I mean, not exactly maybe, an expert. It, it was it was one of the weaker ones, and in fact, if you go back to my um, the stream, the wrestling game stream I did for the Nashville Tornado uh, Red Cross of Middle Tennessee, um, that. Um, I used the the this core to play some like Fire Pro and like there were some weird graphical glitches that are not in the actual you know, when you play it on real hardware. Um, it, it was it was kind of rough, but um, it's it's coming along and I know there are a lot of people who are kind of coming in to work on it a little bit more now. And like I said, including adding CD support. Um, yeah, I want that CD support. Yeah, for obvious for reasons. Sure. Reason, I guess. Um, I will just say, my brief history with the TurboGrafx-16 is that I used to play it at Radio Shack whenever I would go into town. Uh, there would very often be a TurboGrafx-16 set up on free play, and there was very rarely anyone else who wanted to play it, so I would just pick up whatever game they had and spend some, spend some quality time. Um, but aside from thinking that it was kind of a cool oddity, I was never especially excited about the idea of having one. And I never knew anyone who had one, and I couldn't rent one anywhere around where I lived. So I spent very little time with any of these games, basically. And I dabbled with them a bunch, you know, like when emulators first came out in the you know, late 90s, early 2000s and things. But So, uh, yeah, I thought maybe you could help me find some, some hidden gems. So how do you feel about shoot-them-ups, Mike? I'm a fan of shooting them up. Okay, cool. Well, when we're done with this, then I will direct you towards some very good shoot-them-ups. I'm also uh, a fan of shooting them sideways. There you go. Uh, Ryan and R14 wants to know if the Bonk's Revenge port for the Game Boy is any good. And actually it is, but it's way, way different than the Turbo Graphics version. It's, it's exactly. essentially That's a different good. game. Anchor it chair, is. anchor chair. It's got a bunch of like uh, different... Um, the inspiration for the... Uh, well, Nancy's awesome chain. Yeah, the chain <laughs> <laughs> Um Bonk's Revenge on the Game Boy has a bunch of different power-ups and stuff. There's a vampire bonk that you like. I thought you said bong for a second. Oh, I thought yes. you could pick that knife up after I, after I um, it And then uh, RS.Matrix says uh, that he played the PC Engine or the Turbo Graphics at the Compu Center at his local mall. Yeah, Compu Center. Oh, nice. so, That's where I got my copy of Rim City yeah. Ransom. So I, I, yeah, I lusted after one of these for years and years, and then in 2010, I think I used my tax return, um, and just went <laughs> how for much it. does the Turbo Graphics go for in 2010? Uh, I got a, I got a PC Engine Duo R, which is, that the is CD the for, later. 
right? So it's the it's the so there was the the PC Engine Duo, which is pretty similar to the Turbo Graphic, the Turbo Duo, um, which out of the box will play, I think, just regular. So there are actually three CD formats for the Turbo Graphic slash PC Engine. There is CD ROM two or CD ROM ROM. There's Super CD ROM two, and then there's Arcade CD ROM, and the and original Turbo Duo, I believe, would only do and Turbo CD that you would like plug into a that you would actually add on. I'm sorry, the original Turbo CD add-on would just play CD-ROM ROM games out of the box. If you even wanted to play Super CD-ROM games, you had to get a system card, which would go in the card slot and was like a RAM expansion, basically. This is all very confusing, Joe. Um, it, it can be. And then arcade, so then the, the duo will play Super CD-ROM and CD-ROM ROM games, but needs a card for arcade CD-ROM games. <laughs> and So the, I have the second model duo. There are actually, there are so many hardware configurations for this machine. It's yeah. ridiculous. Like, people were like, I can't believe they made two models of Slim PS3, and I'm like, let me tell you <laughs> Bitch, about settle the down. Sit, sit your ass down before you even tell you a story. What, yeah. Before you what, even what start you, talking uh, about the portable ones. Why don't yeah, you point me or, towards another another game here, and we'll and I'll play that while you explain. Uh, I thought you were going to play Bonk's Revenge. Go to Bonk's Revenge. Oh, sure. Let's do Bonk's Revenge. And then I'll point you to some STGs, some shoot them ups. Shoot, what is, yeah, why STG? Shoot the gun? I always thought it was just shooting game, was I, I thought, I don't know what it actually, I mean, it's a Japanese abbreviation, but I like it more than shmup. Or just shooting, I guess. <laughs> well, I, I googled shmup. STG abbreviation, it says swear to God, and I don't think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's about right. Hang on, hang on. So I did, I fired this game up the other day, and I'm glad I did, because otherwise it would have taken me a while to figure out that the answer to this first stage is to swim up the waterfalls, which is yep. not... Yep, Bonk can swim up waterfalls. He's, that's, hard. He's that, that's how hardcore Bonk is. But it's a really weird thing to put in your first stage of a platformer. Like, the first interaction you have with this game is, here's a waterfall, you've got to swim up it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to recommend, by the way, right now, that when you get your fill of Bonk's Revenge, that you... Uh, which is a weird name for a game. Like, what is he getting revenge for? I don't know, um, man, a dinosaur? <laughs> something? Um, I'm going to recommend know what that you go to Blazing Lasers. Ooh, uh, okay. Second. All right. So, yeah, 420 blaze, blaze those lasers. So, uh, RS Matrix points out that it is a sequel. It is a sequel, but it's not like Bonk was wronged in the first game and is now. It's like, like Freddy's Revenge makes sense because the Elm Street kids get rid of Freddy at the end of Nightmare on Elm Street. So Nightmare on Elm Street Part Two, Freddy's Revenge. Makes sense. Bonk <laughs> is not. He was not wrong. He's he he uh, he he fights and defeats. The, the guy, the big dinosaur who's not King DDD, but really like looks. Or no, DDD's the penguin. What's the. Uh, Maybe you King, just don't know King the King K. Rule. King K. Rule, but it's not King K. Rule, but the antagonist in Bonk looks a lot like King K. Rule. It's a big green tyrannosaurus. He rest. came before King K. Rule, so. He yeah, did. Really. That's true. Um. You listen, listen. Game at, or, uh, <laughs> Wiki, Wikipedia. The first sentence this time: the titular large headed caveman is on a quest to recover half of the moon, which was stolen by evil King Drool the Third. Wow, he's, Joe, that sounds pretty serious to me. The, he's pissed. The moon's gone. Half of it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, I, would be too. I like the moon personally. Uh, like, but RS Matrix says he doesn't need to be wrong to get revenge. He's just really petty. <laughs> Uh, also a good That's good. That's good. Yeah. Um, so Mike is now angry bonk, as you can see. Yeah, I can, like, shoot fire or something? Yep, and you can stun enemies oh, by that's over, the apparently. Um, yeah, it's the power-ups in this game are timed, I believe, so... Holding um, down the two button in midair causes bonk to spin and hover? Yes. Back. Yeah. Oh, my meat. I want my meat. Oh, it's gone. Oh, he's eating the little fish. <laughs> this game is so charming. I think that's it this, is. this. This the the Bonk games had like a serious yeah. charm. This flower is not charming. This thing's terrifying. <laughs> I really like him biting the side he, of the yeah, cliff. He, he climbs the walls by yeah. biting. Oh, look at this guy. Fantastic. Yeah, if you jump and just spin, you kind of hover. Is, that kind of move is why uh, Tomba ah. is a spiritual successor to this game. Oh, yeah. the spinning. No, the biting. The biting. biting. biting <laughs> I'm getting. I'm getting work jump, here. Jumping. Biting. I like the uh, derpy. You can fucked up by that high dinosaur. <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> hey, don't be. Uh, uh, can't take a nap. Don't be 
he's shaving. <laughs> what am I supposed to be Just hitting on this thing? I think you're you know, supposed to head the he dinosaur. He crossed his eyes I was trying to hit him in the back. The dinosaur's head does not seem to take damage. I think the it rider hit the guy. Damage. Yeah, hit the guy. See? So... Um, what was I talking about? Oh, I'm not going to get sidetracked about all the different hardware configurations. But anyways, the answer I listened to, to that your question episode. from five minutes ago, uh, Mike, is that in 2010, I think I paid $250 for a PC Engine. Right, but that was a special... TG16, like, I'm, I, I'm willing to bet the base North American model was going for a lot less. Um, yeah, probably. The reason I went with that one is because at the time, that was the one that everybody said, like, it's the one that is least likely to need to be recapped. Oh, yeah. Because NEC used shitty, cheap capacitors on the first couple models of CD yeah. system, and they were prone to leaking on the board, and, like, when that happens, like, you're, I mean, you're fucked. Um, so... I don't know what, you know, I don't remember what a regular turbo graphics went for at the time. I just remember people, like, the general consensus was if you're going to get a PC engine, you want a CD because there's more CD games. That, well, it was, it was, so it was multiple fold, right? First it was, you want the Japanese one because the Japanese library is way the hell bigger. Yeah. And Japanese games are way the hell cheaper because they're much more common because the system was, the, the thing people, I think a lot of people don't realize or, or you know, no, is that the PC Engine outsold the Genesis in Japan. Like, this system was considerably more successful in Japan than it was in the United States. Um, well, it didn't it was... really exist in the United States. <laughs> well, yeah, right, right. Yeah. Um, but it, you know, they, they, they outdid, the PC Engine outdid the Genesis, and not, like, just by a little, either. Like, the Genesis kind of did shit in Japan. Um, Harry piranhas to the goal, okay, by letting them eat your face. You know, good to know, um, good to know. You know, so it's um, it was the one that was that was the model that was sort of like you want a CD, you want the Japanese configuration because the games are not the same. You'd have to get a converter if you got a US system. CD games doesn't matter. CD games are region. Yeah, where are my products going? Um, Why are they dying? Because they breathe they water, water, man. Yeah, they, yeah, they can't take them out of the water. But they're drinking blood and stuff. Then maybe. That's how that Box works. blood is toxic to them. <laughs> he needs uh, to find another mini game. Too many, not enough electrolytes. <laughs> yeah. So, um, that was this the one that nice. I worked with. And, 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 you know, what the cost was at the time. Like I said, I mean, I, I, I decided it was a thing that I wanted badly enough that I was like, I'm going to get my tax return and I'm just going to, like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for it with the PC engine. And, um, of course, when I got it, the CD drive didn't work and I ended up having to send it out to get repaired. Um, yeah, but, uh, it, it's, it's a really good, I'm really glad I have it now, and especially now that I have, you know, a flash cart that goes with it. Um, again, CD games, I, you know, you can get some good quality blank CDs, like some Tayo Yudin CDs, and you can just burn, like, the copy protection, protection on disc games pre-PlayStation was just that, like, nobody has a way to make yeah. a CD at home. <laughs> no one's so, gonna buy a thousand dollar CD drive to copy our games. Right, exactly. Um, so you can just burn, you know, and there's always there's a lot of controversy in the community about does that wear out the laser? Will it ruin your system? Does that wear out the laser? Yeah. What? Because some people say like, well, it has to scan like it, it because it's it, it's harder to read on a burn CD than a press one, and so you know you you have to you should only use good quality CDs. More reads than like Right, yeah, whatever. I don't know. Um, I've always kind of avoided it using cheap burned CDs just as a matter of like precaution. Um, but a lot of people say, like, yeah, if you get some good quality CDs, the Tile Yudens branded get CDs, out of here. and you get, um, oh, let's say you headbutt the thing, and you then headbutt the wall. the wall, apparently. Um, I wasn't expecting there to be a castle in this game. It's, it, you know, bonk it. Bonk impresses you at every turn. Uh, um, but uh, if you burn them at like one, if you like single speed burn them, burn them as slow as your burner will burn them on good quality CDs, it's supposed to be fine. So Low and slow. Yeah. When you're, when you, are you done with that point? I have a question. Yes, yes, I'm done. Why are there cheeseburgers in um, like, uh, I was about to say medieval and prehistoric times? Like then. All right, right, you guys both make good points. The oh, Flintstones good. is bullshit, and we don't know what happened in prehistoric <laughs> time. I, don't know, I can't make him bite the wall whenever I want to. 
I think only certain walls are biteable. Only certain walls are biteable. <laughs> Just like in real life. You can't yes. bite stone. That would hurt your teeth. Yeah. Um, what are the levers for? I don't think Bonk has the greatest moral hygiene. I mean, he, if he can bite onto a wall and climb up it, he's got... At least he's got good bite right. pressure. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, but he's yeah. got no enamel I mean, left. If his teeth were, just, like, shitty and brittle, just... he wouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> yeah, but he could, you know, he could just gum it to death. That's a very that's different just, That's just tenacious. <laughs> it's all tenacity. Wouldn't that be Kirby, the game where you just gum everything to death? Tenacity and pettiness. That's no, Kirby, Kirby just follows ships full. Yeah. Well, I'm Kirby doesn't he doesn't have teeth. teeth. I'm going getting all this food when my health isn't going back up. Because health, dog. it's for, yeah. Because health is you get, a, you get hearts for health. health. Hearts. You get yeah. you get food for points. It doesn't fruit. There you go. Ah. Remember like when video games had points. Oh, and health, like a thing. <laughs> yeah. You're, yeah. Getting a, you're trying to get a high score here. Yep. Oh, look at that meat. Uh. Oh no, the meat go. got stuck. Oh, no. You're already at full health and you didn't need it. Oh no. Too. No, the meat's not health, Alex. Hearts are health. Meat is a power up. Oh, okay. Oh, I gotta go up here. Uh, let's Meet see. how you get your revenge. Right. Rhino Nar no, wants to revenge. know if I'm ever going to do an episode of Sam Name Different Game on Pitfall. I'm gonna say maybe. Uh, RS Matrix says it's not so much that the capacitors were cheap, but there was a glut of bad bad capacitors at the time. Um, I guess I don't know. I mean, I've always they heard that they were flux. that they were. They just yeah chose the wrong the thing year that I to make always their heard. System. Right, was that they, I mean, in a way that other systems were not prone to this sort of failure, like it, it, it was a part sourcing issue, but that's just what I've heard. I have no idea how true that is. I know that, like, I've never had a problem with my Genesis or uh, my JVC XI, because I am a sucker for systems with add ons that are one solid unit stuck together. Um, you know, I'd never run across any issues with that, and that, that, that it was a rampant problem with the early. Uh, PC engine. So whether it was NEC cutting corners or just bad luck on capacitors, I don't know. But, um, and then he also says, another thing that killed the TG-16 was a short controller cable and only one controller port. Yeah, that was that's, bogus. That's true. Yeah, you, that's had, you have to get a, um, a multi-tap to play even a two-player game on a turbo graphics or PC engine. There was one controller port. That's got to be related to the fact that it was the same company that made the multi-tap for the Super Nintendo, right? That was just their way of doing business, was multi-taps? <laughs> I mean, I guess. Drat! Um, the short controller cable was not as bad in the U.S., but man, the the PC Engine controller cables... I just bought a 6 last fall because I, I just had enough. You, you, I mean, it's shorter than a GameCube controller. It's ridiculous. It, it's, it's... Oh, I didn't get enough smiley sure. faces to make it to the second path? Is that how that works? Uh... Yes, that's how that works. Bonk apostrophe S. Yeah, it belongs to Bonk. <laughs> yeah, he owns can, I introduce, can I introduce you to Grammar, Alex? <laughs> uh, no. I've never met Grammar, Alex. <laughs> uh, commas. So this game is that's charming as, as all, all get out. It is, it is a little clunky on the platforming, I want to say. Um, it's, I think it's the best of the Bonk games, but I mean, I have the Bonk heard games that. are not... I mean, I think the problem is people go in and it was There's no Ray, man. As a, it was no, definitely not. Um, <laughs> they were positioned as competitive, you know, a competitive thing for Mario and Sonic, and like it, it just isn't. They just aren't. Yeah, well, ask me how I feel about that. Sonic. So. So. I mean, how do you feel about Sonic? Uh, not so positive. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Right. It's the it is the mascot for that platform, but that does not mean it is of a quality with mm. a Mario game. But also, I, mean, I, I think, think they just Sonic, like that platform. I, think, I don't I don't think that Sonic is necessarily of a quality with a Mario game no. either. Sonic Two is real real good. Sonic Two, yeah, yeah it's good. Sonic Two is real real good. Um, like this, none of the Bonk games get even like remotely close to no. Sonic Two levels of quality. Like not even, not even catching a whiff in my in my opinion. Um, but that's kind of how they were positioned, so I think that's how people view them, which I think is well, no a disservice better. to these games. <laughs> Sorry. I, uh, there is, controversial there's no better role. choice, I don't think, on the platform no pun intended, to choose. You know, there's, there's not another mascot you'd be like, well, this one, we should do this. It should have been Zonk, because Zonk is a shooter, and this is anyways. It should have been, been E3. 
<laughs> but East Three but was that came out later. On Genesis. Yeah, but it's uh like the best on the Turbo Graphics. But I mean, the well, I guess the, the engine. Did that come out in America? I think it did. Never mind. Anyway, it was a joke. It was not serious. That game rules. Though. Mike, I think you should blaze some lasers. All right, I do say I I do love this whole like spinning around on a. I don't know what kind of tree this is by your teeth. <laughs> it's kind of painful to watch, but it is very, uh, very entertaining. Uh, RS Matrix says uh, they should have made a bonk shooter. It's odd they didn't. I mean, Zonk basically is a yeah, bonk yeah. shooter. Air Zonk, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, he's I future's think... future bonk. But, um... All right, Blazing Lazare. So, Blazing in 1969. Wow. You can't play this game for five more days. April 20th. Mm -hmm. 420. Uh, okay. So blazing Whoa. lasers. These lasers all are the blazing. Z's, the all, all the Z's. Um, I'm dizzy here. This is actually a licensed game. It's based on a Japanese sci-fi movie called Gunhead. And nice. Japan is in fact known as Gunhead. But in North America, nobody knew what the hell Gunhead was. So... Is this we got blazing laser? And is this kind of a Star Soldier game? Uh, this is more of an Alest game, really, oh, okay. if we're being honest. Because I believe, unless I'm crazy, this was developed by Compile. Um, certainly, true. the certainly the power up system would lead you to believe that it was developed by Compile. I like this um, weird, like, I don't know what you want to call this laser. Yeah, that one's cool. I like yes, that. Yes, it was developed by Compile. So oh, it got gooder. Um, I'm so confused. Okay. So that is the titular blazing laser you're equipped with right now, Mike. And it's in a my good laser. estimation, it's the, the the more you power it up, the more it blazes. The more it blazes. Uh, the more it blazes. Um, what in the blazes? Nice. All right, oh no, I didn't want that. Where'd my blazing go? <laughs> Blaze it, come back. Are those homing missiles, though? That's not I, had, I had homing There's... missiles for a little while. The problem... Oh, I see. You have a primary weapon and a secondary weapon. Yeah, I haven't figured out which icon the corresponds letters... to which weapon right now. Right, so the numbers... Three. The Roman numerals are your main weapon. The letters are your sub-weapon. Why is this primary gun that I have so bad now? Because <laughs> uh, it's not powered up enough. I feel like I picked it up like four times. But... All right. Well, if you pick up something else in between... you're. So, I'm sorry... The primary gun you have now is the shield that's circling around your ship, not that's, the gun Oh, that's itself. my gun? Well, that's the power-up, is it? Right. It, and it, it will definitely stop things from hitting you. Um, Ooh, all right. Unless you fly directly into the laser fire like that, but, you know, other than that. Um, I don't know what's happening know, here, but this is this is okay. Whoa. I think you upgraded your. You got like you a big. You're shooting out like a big laser light nutsack to. <laughs> That's really nice. Yeah. Um, so they stack, but if you change weapons, they don't stack, right? So you have to collect the yeah. same icon, or the purple balls will level up your gun as well. Oh, okay. So this game's um, all about the balls. It's all about the balls. So, um, this is, I think. <laughs> I like Alex's pensive uh, reaction. <laughs> dubious, dubious grunt from Alex. Okay, so oh, M is the boss. crappy gun that I don't like. <laughs> um, Stop getting M. H is for homing missiles. Missile. Yeah. M, M is, is the... the shield. Oh, it's the secondary weapon. Okay. Right. Yeah. The letters oh, are secondary. Letters are secondary. Yeah. So, so get the letters. You're fine with. So those. which one is the blazing laser? Is that an L? Is that a B? Three. No, the blazing laser is one of the Roman numerals. Oh. It's three. Yes, I believe. All right, I like the homing missiles. We'll keep the homing missiles for a bit. Yeah, the homing missiles are good. Those also can be powered up by stacking more of the same letter, if I'm not mistaken. I it's thought M was going to be more missiles, but in fact it was not. All right, so no. three. Th Roman numeral three. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. I haven't even tried if, my, if I have a bomb or not. I have 16 of something in stock. Uh, those are bombs, I believe. I think you select... There's a bomb. So one of the things I like about this game, now that you just died, is that um, <laughs> you can take a hit and it depowers your weapon, but as long as you have weapon power, you won't just, like, it doesn't have the Gradius problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am not a fan of the Gradius problem. Uh, I like Gradius a lot, so... Um, oh, you can make, can but you make the numbers I know... change? 
Oh, I, I want them to so. become become a three. Oh, some of some of them will. Yes, some of them. No, no. Will change until you treachery. Shoot <laughs> it was a three, then it changed away the second I went to get it. All right, yeah, this is this bomb. The bombs are kind of cool. Um, I mean, they're not Truxton bombs or oh. anything like that. Some, something changed. Argus Matrix says they should have made a bonk shooter. In fact, it's odd that you didn't. Yeah, I said that I, I mentioned uh, that. That, yeah, that like Zonk was shooter. basically Yeah, and then he says that, yeah. Gunhead are the villains of Keith Courage. Yeah, so. <laughs> there are characters in Keith Courage, which is not a good game, by the way. You should not spend time playing yeah. it tonight. But there are enemies that literally have, like, revolvers for faces. Nice. It's very strange. So, like, yeah. precursors to Enter the Gungeon, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. They, they actually do look quite a bit like Enter the Gungeon uh, enemies. Which actually, I've been meaning to check out Exit the Gungeon because it's a side scroller now, and I'm I'm into that. So M is like a oh like an option. Oh oh with that, yeah, plays it. Um. So yeah, I I this I'm is doing this what I was told. Is, I think, one of the less uh, challenging shoot 'em ups on this system. Thanks, Joe. Making me feel real good right now. Fact. Yeah, you suck, Mike. Fuck you. I was gonna say, it, in it, fact, it, it I think you're doing quite well. Man. I'm not. I'm not throwing shade at Mike's ability. I'm just saying, you know, I played this game in a tournament once, and everybody in the tournament, I think, looped the game at least one time before running out of lives, to the point that it was like causing a delay in the tournament <laughs> ending, because everybody would get their turn up blazing lasers, and it'd be like, okay, like we're just gonna sit here while, uh, you know. Uh, Ian's gonna finish it, and then I'm gonna finish it, and then you know, uh, Alex is gonna finish it, and it like you know, it just like. I thought you said everyone will get their turnip blazing lasers, and like, damn, that sounds that sounds awesome. I don't know what's happening, but <laughs> I want my turnip to blaze some lasers. Don't we all? Don't we all? Um, but yeah, this is, this is this yeah, is I think compile it. compile made some really good shooters. I wouldn't say this is their you know their best. Ever, but what uh, is their best? And is it available on the Perfect Graphics 16 or PC engine? <laughs> Answer now. Um, <laughs> no reason, I'm just asking. No, no, in my opinion, no. I think their best shooter. In your opinion, it's not available on the Turbo Graphics 16? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Correct. In my opinion, the game that is their best shooter is not a Turbo Graphics 16. Oh, no, you lost your thing. Oh. Don't worry, Alex, this game's super easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really easy. Especially when you have that blazing laser. I don't know uh, if you keep I dying. I played that game like three or four times before I died. Yeah, easy. Forget about it. He f he's, he's looped good, the game bro. twice just while I was playing this. You can't see because I'm the one streaming, but... Right, yeah. I've been... I've been. What scaler are you using, by the way, Mike, for this core? Uh, that's a good question. I have... That's a fish scaler. Mm -hmm. Would you have a recommendation? Uh, I usually sharp? go with interpolation sharp, yeah. That actually Unless you're doing integer scaling, it... which you're not, is... I don't think, so... This is integer scaling. You do have it set to energy scaling? Mm hmm. That's funny. Interpolation sharp did is actually you... less sharp than, than none. Did Ironic. you. Um, I mean, you could switch it to. Go if it's energy <laughs> scaling. If, actually, if it's energy scaling, switch it to Gosh. Thank you, Alanis Morissette. Switch it to <laughs> Gosh. Uh, <laughs> seven or whatever. Sorry, where will I find Gaussian whatever seven? Uh, I think it's under normal upscaling. Gaussian Sharp 7. Okay. Yes. We are the Gaussian if Sharp 7. If, if you're on integer I am scaling. on integer scaling, Joe. Bow I have horrible. principles. Well, I turned it off because the screen was too small on my... Like, the, the visual was too small on my TV, I felt, when I had everything set to integer. So. For, uh, for which systems? It Super depends Nintendo entirely. Genesis. I mean, it does depend entirely but yeah. super nes genesis you know what helps with that is getting a real big tv uh, well i mean okay <laughs> no i get right on that <laughs> um because I, I bought a i bought a big oled last year and it's super nice because now it's big enough that i don't care if there are little black sort of bars around retro games because they're still really huge uh, I mean, you're so streaming I so it's hard for me to say for sure but i feel like i'm seeing pixel shimmer here and this is under scaling. I should not be seeing. Things well, I changed that say. thing in my Mister Inish in I file, and so yeah, I turn. I, I put the one where the one is supposed to be. 
Right. I mean, it could just be that this is not Whoa. a great car, and that's... Whoa. But, um... What's happening? Oh, yeah, give me some purple orbs. I can't wait to see how this goes. But I think that Compile's best shooter is either, um... Space Megaforce for the Super NES, or, um... Super Alas to the Super Family. I didn't know there was a really good shooter for the Super Nintendo that I'd never played. Well, now you do. Space Megaforce. Or Super Alas, if you're playing the Japanese version. Um, or it's, I mean, Musha on the Genesis and its sequel on the Sega CD, Robo Alas, uh, are both super good. Yeah. The no, PlayStation 2 one where your you... samurai is really good. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Look, I got nothing for what you guys are actually talking about. I'm just trying to do something. Okay, so my sub weapon was making that thing a weird homing toothpaste. Yes, piece. yes, correct. Wow. Okay, I guess this is an upgrade, but now my laser is really weird. It is blazing. Though. Weird. You, you, it is blazing. You can hit three different areas at the same time. Yeah, that's good. How's that bad? Which is helpful for fighting bosses that shoot. Yeah. A lot of you don't want to sit in well. front of. If you want all your you lasers. You definitely don't to be want blazing. to sit right in front of. Yeah. All right, this is fun, and I could keep playing this, but maybe we should move on. See what else there is in the world. Right. You should uh, you should move on to uh, let's do Soldier Blade. Soldier Blade is that also a North American release? It, uh, right there. Soldier, say, Soldier Blade. Oh, I like this effect. With like the letters and then the cutout. Soldier Blade. Shushwing. All right, 1992. So this is the final entry in the Star Soldier series. Okay. And it's the best one. I was just uh, looking at my Famicom Star Soldier card earlier today. That's probably the worst one. Well, I'm just <laughs> so. saying I have a Famicom card of it. Because it was like three bucks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um... Ooh, okay. The PC Engine is is a pretty good uh, pretty good piece of kit. It definitely uh, does fast, and it's it's it reminds me more of a Genesis than a Super Nintendo in, in the presentation, yeah. like the, the the color palette and like the frame rates are definitely more. Whoa, hey. I mean, it's you know Ooh. obviously there's there's always going to be a controversy even among fans of the system of like, well, is it really? It's it's not really a 16-bit system. Well, yeah, it is really a 16-bit system because X, Y, Z. And like, well, what is it like? 16-bit graphics on top of an 8-bit processor, kind of. Right. Uh, the, the, yeah. The process. The, the, the main processor is essentially the same as an NES, but it has a 16-bit graphics coprocessor. Right. On top of it, so. Yeah, it's kind of a half-step console. Yeah. It really is. It's basically a half well, step between the Famicom and the Genesis and, and Super Nintendo. And it came out a while back, right? Like, what what year did this console first appear? Eighty seven or something like that. Um, the CD add-on came out in eighty nine. I think eighty seven sounds right for the original release of the PC Engine. This is before explosion. the Genesis. Alert. Alert. Uh, October thirtieth, nineteen eighty seven. Yeah. In so a year after the U.S. launch of the NES. So like, what NES games were we getting in 1987? Like Mega Man. Mega Man like, One. You know, which, like this game looks definitely fancier than Mega Man One. You know. Oh yeah. But I am significant more. <laughs> yes, yes. Mega Man One is quite bland looking. In fact, uh, you know, I can't really it's, deny it's, that. It's not really into. I mean, it still used one of the pretty small ROM carts, you know, at the time. So now this um, is an easy shooter so far. This one gets harder, faster. <laughs> All right. What do I like? Ha so I have like blazing this lasers of kind of stays at the same level. I feel like it doesn't really ever get harder than the first like two stages. This game gets harder as you play. Okay. How do the, how do these bombs work? I've got three different color. So every power up that you pick up like that those little chips yeah um, they become a bomb and so when you bomb like if you bomb now you'll I'll go back to your blue power up well, uh... yeah you'll will, go back it, to your will it power, power down up. my weapon if i bomb no it won't power it down it'll just switch it back to whatever is next to oh so my bomb is like a little in independent chip that's going around and... but if you bomb all three of them then i think you just go back to your regular gun Ooh. like the red the red gun or whatever and i also think it's been a while since I've played, so I'm trying to remember. I might be talking out of my ass. But um, I seem to recall that um, 
if you bomb after you have no more bombs, your little helper guy will like self destruct to to bomb for you. And then oh, you and and when you bomb after your helper guy. after your special effect is over, you switch to whatever the next weapon was. So you're kind yeah, of constantly right. you're right. kind of constantly yes. changing weapons in this game. Yes. Yeah. Depending on how frugal you are with your bombs. Yeah. But since there's so many power ups, it's really easy to just grab another power up and then use it as a bomb and kind because of, you can only hold, you can only store three at a time anyway. Yeah. It's, so. I'm just not a huge fan of the of the red weapon. Yeah. It's kind I mean, of they all seem similar it's enough. Pretty cool. I like that. I like that green snaky bomb thing. I mean, the red one is the only one that shoots behind you, really. So mm. I mean, they all shoot like a very little bit behind you, but I guess I just got powered down because I didn't hit there. Right, it's similar oh, to, cool. to uh, yeah. blazing lasers. It doesn't have the Gradius problem, but if you take a hit, oh, maybe that's it. Maybe it's once you if you use all your bombs and then take a hit, you die. Oh, because they're because they're acting as your because they're life. also your life. Yeah. I think or something. I don't, it's been a, oh, interesting. Again, it's been a little while since I played this. Oh, that's down there. But this is one of the better. Uh, one of the best shoot 'em ups on this system, I think. On a system that's been full of really good shoot 'em ups. I'm gonna um, do it. I feel is it this is there an arcade version of this game? Um if there is, I think it was a port of the okay. PC engine. I must have played this before, because that green gun that tilts back and forth as you scroll, I've definitely played games with that kind of I mean it, it it was it was on virtual console. I don't think I got it there. Uh, it was only on the. There was not an arcade. I got version. Lords of Thunder. I want to say on Virtual Console. Uh, Lords of Thunder is the like medieval fantasy. Yeah. Oh yeah, nothing like Ga this. Gate of Thunder is the sci-fi. No, it was but Lords. Gate of Thunder is also side-scrolling. Um, both those games have really good shot soundtracks. Really good scene. All right, so we've got two pretty good shooters here. Do you want to do another shoot them up, or do you want to do something different? Well, what else you got for me? I like the shooting them ups, but I mean, that's the kind of genre that I'll play naturally. Surprise me. Okay. Um, let's... Oh. Let me check something real quick. <laughs> I don't um, for the a hue card one, or... You a big turgra Turbo Graphics fan, Alex? No. I like it, I just don't know a lot about it. I was seeing if Newtopia was uh I Oh, Newtopia is a Hue card. Yeah. Is it? That game's good. Yeah, check out Newtopia. I mean, yeah, I don't think you can really get the full Newtopia experience. It's no, basically Zelda it's clone. Like a Zelda clone. Yeah. Like Matrix but... is Magical Chase. That's right, another shoot Magical them Chase. up. You could play sh Magical Chase is the most sought after American retail release. It's cost a fortune. Um it's a cute em up though, so it's I like more shooting them up if you do that. But... All right, what's the deal with Utopia? Yeah, it's Zelda. Zelda. That guy looks bad. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, he's Ganon. And the dude in the armor on the hill is Link, and uh, that, it's, it's Zelda. That's literally it. It's just Zelda. It's just good. Yeah, that's Not a good Zelda. Good, but it's like a good Zelda clone. Jazetta. Play Ease 1 and 2 and 3 eventually. Once you get your CD. Ease, well, yeah, once the CD core is out yeah. there. Fun fact, Thomas Hayden Church is a voice in Ease Book 1 and 2. Oh, yeah? Huh. Yeah. That is fun. Dirth is was fun. our father's arch enemy. Dirth. Dirth. <laughs> Dirth has spread the medallions in the, his labyrinths. The, um, the medallions, which are not at all like pieces of the Triforce. They're it's round, different. they're not triangles. <laughs> um, the thing that uh, right. I like about the PC engine is that like, it's a, such a particular moment in time where it's like you were just saying, it's like it's not 8-bit, but it's not 16-bit, but it is, but it isn't, both those things. But then also, there's like CD soundtracks. Obviously, I'm talking about the CD add-on because to me, like uh, PC Engine, kind of like games, like our CD games. Like I don't really think of 
few card games really like when i'm thinking of the pc engine i'm thinking of like crazy anime cutscenes with like fully voiced like bullshit yeah, you know what i mean blood and... yeah and it, it, so it's like this weird He's thing that it, it, it's got like its fingers in a bunch of different pies where it's like 8-bit 16-bit like cd quality music like all in one thing and you're like what the hell is it it's like both above like before and after its time at the same time and it's oh. like just this weird mix of things but like oh, there's a lot of cool pc engine games so it's like it's tight i don't no know diagonal movement huh no, 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 no. Just a little, like, a little too we told you it's zelda we yeah explained this. you can <laughs> sometimes you need to throw the baby out with the bath water i think because that's how it goes right yeah, yes. I think we're advocating child murder. I think that's what you say. You don't yeah, kill murder, the baby. You, you throw, throw it onto a trampoline, so it has a good, like, fun time. Oh, that's where you throw the baby in the yeah. back. Then the you trampoline. have a wet trampoline, which is not the best, but, you know. That's how you wash your... How else are you supposed to wash a trampoline? Yeah. It's got to be a wet baby. Good point. It's yeah. pretty good. <laughs> wipe annoying. it down with the wet it's baby. Pretty, pretty airtight. I have to have a new baby every time I want to clean the trampoline. <laughs> so I don't know the how. Baby, Alex. I, I don't know how old this is. <laughs> you, and everybody are you wasting have, babies? Yeah, everybody Jesus. might have seen this besides me, but a friend of mine a couple of weeks ago linked me to a video of a baby getting baptized, and they dubbed in like the Big Lebowski where he's getting his head dunked in the toilet. <laughs> okay. And I was I'm laughing my ass off. Like I was, I'm gonna link it in the. In You're gonna chapters. what it, Joe? What are you gonna do to it? I'm gonna link it, just like this game. That's Zelda. It's Zelda. Link. I don't get it. It's Zelda. The bombs don't hurt uh -huh. enemies, huh? Play what does Valid. This have to do with F. Scott's material? I think I will play a, a game that is not this. Um, Valis? Not old, that's old Utopia. Utopia. What was the other one? We're, like, we're talking about Magical Chase. Magical Chase. Magical. I feel Chase. like Alex, especially, is going to really appreciate. This video. It really tied the room together. <laughs> and I'll link it in the regular chat too, so in case anybody who's. I don't know why, for some reason, I thought this was a uh, a Mickey Mouse thing. He's a good man and thorough. <laughs> now you were thinking of magical, uh, uh, magical quest. I guess. This is. <laughs> I was think that what I my baptism was like? I don't remember it. I was like, oh. You may have a bit <laughs> of an issue. Yeah, with that's the, the no, no baptism you, you had a white Russian. was like that. But, yeah. uh, I think we're not going to play a magical chase today. No, not working not, so good. Not working for us. All right, another game. Okay, uh, Ninja Spirit or Ninja Gaiden. There's a Ninja Gaiden port. I don't think I don't seem to have that. Ninja Gaiden is not a U.S. game. You'd have to go to Japanese. It's under Ninja Ryu Kenden in the Japanese. That's okay. Life. I'd rather play original games than weird ports. That looks bad. Oh, man. <laughs> I suck at this game. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Mike, you... you know. Easy. <laughs> I'm not that good at blazing lasers either, is basically what I'm saying. Whoa, oh, that's man. a hell of a jump. <laughs> okay, before, woo! Before, you were just like, oh, I'm joking. Now you're just talking shit, man. Whoa, that is a hell of a jump. Jesus. I was going to yeah. say, this reminds me of that uh, Nintendo game, Legend of Kage, and then like you this jumped, is, and I was like, it, yeah. fuck. Yeah, that really this is, reminds me. This yeah. is way better than Legend of Kage, I think. Oh, yeah, that game. Oh, controls are tighter. We got like ninja yeah, clones. Yes, you get ninja clones. Still very deliberate. Uh, RS Matrix says, I hate it when I get hit by random spooky green lights, and this is crouching tiger <laughs> tier jumping. Yeah, this is some wire foo. Mike's doing wire foo. Uh, okay, wow. You can also change weapons. I think it's the select button. It changes your weapon. Okay. You have a sword, and you have like oh, a hook and sickle shuriken. and hook, and you have shurikens. Yeah. I don't know how I'm, uh, how I'm avoiding I guess you have a smaller hitbox than you look like you do. Yeah, this game is is pretty. It's not. I mean, it's not a bullet hell or anything, but it's pretty generous with the box. Sure, Joe. I suck. Anytime I'm good at a game, it's because the game is easy. Got it. Oh no, you were you were bad at blazing lasers, and that was easy. What are you throwing here? Uh, grenades. Yeah. So as you upgrade your standard weapons, each one like. Oh, your your sword will have more of like a blue glow. Your ninja stars become bombs. 
uh, your hook and chain just gets longer, I think. Oh, you just got blown the fuck up. Like, you didn't just die. Oh, there we go. I haven't, I haven't tried the hook and chain. This seems good. Oh, you can aim up. That would certainly have helped to know that I could aim up before. With all these yes. ninjas jumped on my head. Now it's just Castlevania, like, four. <laughs> you can't swing from stuff with the hook and chain, though, unfortunately. Yeah, but you can, like, jump over an entire building, so it's alright. That's true. That's true. Um, I believe also if you... there, It's like, uh, you know, advanced tier uh, tech here, Mike, so I don't know if you're prepared, but I believe that if you swing the chain in one direction and roll the D-pad, you'd kind of, like, swing it around you a little bit. Joe, I believe that you're full of it. You're good, scrub. Nope, no swinging seems to be happening. Wow. I'm digging the slowdown. So am I. There's a lot of kunai on the screen. <laughs> so much kunai. Uh, uh. So much like Ninja Gaiden 2, you can just leave your shadow clone in like a convenient spot to well, do it... a bunch of damage to something. And Yeah. In this case, the problem is that he's not high enough to hit that guy's head. Maybe if I do a diagonal attack. Yeah, take that, whoever you are. I'm a ninja spirit. That's a real <laughs> shitty walk cycle, though. There's a reason they make you jump so much in yeah, this game. Yeah, the walk cycle is really goofy looking. I don't know, I kind of like it. Looks like you're doing a little jig. You're doing the <laughs> duck walk. You're like uh, Angus Young. Yeah. Go the orange ninjas and collect the... Mike's just leaving power-ups laying around all over the place. I got ninja stuff to do, man. I'm trying to collect power-ups. Ninja don't need no power-up. Look at I mean, this, this, this stick and chain thing of me is, is great. Look, man, only having... Why have one shadow clone when you can have two shadow clones? I mean, make a good point. Yeah, right. Oh, that worked. How come... Oh, you have to hold the button down. Oh, I see. You don't just okay. You don't just attack and move. You have to, you have to hold it and swing it. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Are any of the other weapons cool like that? Because so far the sword seems uh, kind of dull. I feel like the hook and chain was the one that I definitely used the most when I played this game. Because it's like the sword. The sword is the strongest. The ninja stars are the weakest. Um, I think the bombs are like the slowest. Yeah, I like that I have a spread gun for my ninja stars. Yeah, but like against bosses and stuff, they, everything takes a million hits. Oh, there you go. Double ninja clone. Woo! I actually think I used the bomb, the bombs in the hook and chain, I think, is what I used, like, pretty much exclusively when I last played this. Alright, I can, that, this is fun. I'm having a good time here. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's not, I mean, again, it's not on the level of, you know, for me at least, Ninja Gaiden or, you know, whatever. Oh, but... now. Oh. Boss. Like a boss. There's also a Game Boy version of this that I haven't played, but um... oh man, very dramatic when you fall out of the tree. Super dramatic. You know what you should play next, Mike? What should I play next, Joe? I don't Street know. Fighter Otherwise, I wouldn't have invited you. Champion Edition. <laughs> um, I will tell you. I put that on as I was testing my stream setup earlier, and I think I may have had as much of that as anyone needs for one life. Is there only two buttons on the controller? There are only two buttons that? on so, the controller. Yeah, there so are six button you... controllers. Oh, okay. I have a six button controller for, for mine. Okay. Um, I don't think I've ever even tried to play it with the standard two button controller. I don't think it would be good. Um, I've oh, tried yeah, it I'm earlier. And you know what's incredibly you know what's incredibly bad with the two button controller is that when you have, is that they give you two punches at the same time. Why not give you one punch and one kick? Wouldn't that make mm. some kind of sense? No, I think it's it's something weird like start is also a punch and you hit select to flip between punches and kicks. Uh, I was gonna say okay. it's probably something like that because the Genesis version of Street Fighter Two did that with the three button controller. Well, the point is that is awful, and I'm on a Mister. There are better ways I can play Street Fighter Two right now. Like, did not play it at all. Wah, wah. Oh. I don't really like Street Fighter 
Yeah, well, I don't really like you. Go, go home. Uh, I thought you were like a big fighting game nerd. I thought you lose fighting yeah, game nerd. Yeah, I don't like Street If you Fighter say you don't like Street Fighter 2. I don't. All right, what's I mean, another cool-ass game? I could go to PC, PC Engine. Wait, I haven't played any PC Engine games yet. I think something Japanese. Um, what's a good Japanese exclusive? Let me think about that for a second. You should just flip through the list and I'll just like look at it. I bet like, Eric would be happy if I played the janky NES ports. Oh, the janky NES ports are they're pretty janky. I do like a good janky NES port. Janky we got a couple power they? power golf games here. Power League. Puznik. Got one of the Raiden games. Raiden. I think I played Puznik. Side Arms Hyperdyne. Silent Debuggers. Soldier yeah. Blade Special Version. Sengoku Mahjong. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah. Fuck, yeah. What's Silent Debuggers? Could you? Silent Debuggers is a shooter, I think. I think we're going to have to find out what Silent Debuggers is. Tatsujin Truxton. Fuck, Feels yeah. like I shouldn't be allowed to say that on the stream. <laughs> what? Silent Debuggers? Push wrong button. Oh no, it's like a first person dungeon crawly thing. Awesome. Hell yeah. But it did come out in North America. There is uh, apparently really? a, an American version. Does it have a different the American name? One... No, it's Silent Debuggers. Oh, that box art is resplendent. Holy shit. <laughs> the American box art is fucking fantastic for Silent Debuggers. Let's check this out. I don't believe you. I'm sorry, there's no oh, good way okay, for me to right. put that up on this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so it's a first person, like, wizardry like, but in space. Yeah. Yes. Hey, it's Chadley. Space. Hey, buddy. Chadwick? Chadley. Chadley, what's up, buddy? Good you just gave me a uh, fat chocobo a little bit ago. I mean, if you want to play another shoot them up, you play Salamander. On, uh... I'm not against the idea. You know, if you got anything more surprising to send my way, then please do. I know you said to never play it, but the uh, Keith Courage and Alpha Zone like box art is like pretty good. Like it's pretty strong. <laughs> it, it is. The game is not. But I'm not equipped to show box art right now. What about time cruise? I mean, yeah, that's two. Fine. Terra Cresta, Mandora no Yakushu. Toy shop, toilet kids. Hang on. Oh, you can play toilet kids. That's a shoot 'em up too. So it's toy shop boys. Yeah. Am I gonna regret this decision? TV which, sports which basketball. One? Toilet Kids? Yeah. I've done it. I mean, probably, but you should just play it. Anyway. You've done it. You've done yes. Toilet Kids? No, I've developed a new materia. Oh, okay. There's the toilet. There's a kid. I certainly didn't have to wait long for them to make good on the promise. Yeah. How many toes does this guy have? What is happening with his foot? It's either two or like an infinite number. All right. I wasn't expecting to see little boy penis in this game. Hell yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> nice stream is rated X. Yeah, great. Oh, so it's Twin B. Rated P for penis. Uh, I mean, it's Twin B, but with lots of poop and not as good. It's Twin but... P? Uh... <laughs> yeah, I mean, everybody knows that once you get stuck inside the toilet, like, you just are a spaceship. <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't happen to Have, you? Does everyone kid? know that? Yeah, everybody knows that. That's okay, all right. Yeah. It's certainly every time I've gotten sucked into the toilet, it was like that. Again, like, combat simulation, fat chocobo mission. Is this some yeah, sort of... Yes. Usually... Some sort of Blumpkin game? Is that I what mean, you're telling me? Oh, God. I haven't <laughs> used him yet. I don't know if he's good or not, but... I mean, of course definitely... he's good. It's a big fat chocobo. I was going to say, he's like, good in a way. A really I mean, ridiculously impossibly fat chocobo. Historically, when I've been, gotten sucked into a toilet, I've been looking for suppositories and listening to Roxy music. This is not... That's just listen, this is not like the chubby, cute chocobo from Final Fantasy XIV. All right. This he's, chocobo has like been up to some spiders stuff. shooting turds at me. He's like... about to be up to some stuff. Yes. That plays cool. Why do these right, um, pig spiders have human asses? There's a because lot. The of... game is called Toilet Kids. The game is called Toilet Kids, man. <laughs> I think we've all got questions right now, Eric. I mean, nobody has questioned like why there's a fucking forest in a toilet. All like... right, Joe. I'm gonna let's play a super graphics game. I thought you said you'd been sucked down the toilet and turned into uh, a spaceship I'm before. Kind of... <laughs> yeah, but nobody's questioning why like it's happening. <laughs> nobody yeah. asked me if there were forests down there. 
<laughs> this, this, okay, so the fat chocobo has a move called Wark, and it just like pulls some garbage <laughs> out of its feathers and throws as it throws it at you. I'm telling you, dude, that game is really good. <laughs> this game is really good. It is. It honestly is. I was Although I finally. It, I I finally I broke down today uh, while I was in the uh, wall market because the wall market sucks at music sucks ass and I so now I'm playing it hooked up to my Elgato so that way I can stream the original Final Fantasy 7 wall market music <laughs> into my headphones so I can listen to the good music without having to listen to the like bad like bad funk version of the theme in this game. Wow. 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 So if it Joe, was a good funk version, I'd be all for it, but it's not good, so... I what's really what's different it. about this version of uh, Tools and Ghosts? Different from what? I don't know, is it just a good port of the game, or is it like... It's a, a very it's just a good port of the game. It's largely considered to be the kind of the best port of the time. A lot of people hold it in higher regard than the Genesis version. I think uh, now that you have the axe, so you're going to hate it, because that's the worst weapon in this fucking game. All right. Sorry, um, I just did that. Dead, so... No, you don't lose your weapon when you die in Ghouls and Ghosts. Uh, oh, that's right. That's um, right. Like, it has more of the background elements than the Genesis version, which is kind of weird, but the Genesis version also came out, like, a year or two before this, so... Um, but it's kind of considered, like, the best... The, here's what I don't like about this port. So first what, of all, I think the what colors... What don't you like about this port, Joe? Well, first of all, I think it looks... The colors look washed out compared to the Genesis version. Oh, no, old. In the game, I mean. But also, um, <laughs> you, it, you you have limited continues in this version, and mastering this game is not like uh, probably now. Well, definitely now, I I could manage to beat the game with the limited continues that you get in this version. But like when I was learning this game and getting to the point where I could comfortably beat it, you know, whenever I kind of felt like it, um, four continues would not get me there. Not even close, you know. Yeah, so, I'm real bad at duels and ghosts and ghosts and goblins. All all versions of this game. Anything involving ghouls, ghosts, and goblins, I'm bad at. There you go. Speaking of ghouls, ghosts, and goblins, um, did you guys hear that the both the printy games are getting ports to the Switch? Why is there never yeah. anything good in the chests? Who cares? Because why why is this news? Because the pretty games are the best Disgaea thing that exists. There is no good Disgaea thing that Disgaea. exists. I like that first Disgaea. The first yeah, pretty, Disgaea one's alright. The yeah. first Disgaea one's alright. The first pretty is really good if you're into like ghouls and ghosts style got another weapon like, action games. That's good. Another weapon is good. That's probably the second worst weapon in the game, but it's better <laughs> than... If only someone could that. advise me as to what I should be doing. I mean, you should st stop dying. You should dying. throw the pineapples at them. <laughs> Start by stopping dying. Um, get good, scrub. Right, of course. Um, collect all the chests without getting hit. That helps. Because the wizard only appears when you start... Like, the wizard appears more often when you take damage, basically. Like, he appears once, you know, when you don't lose your armor. But if you lose your armor, then he's going to appear again. What a jerk. This, this so. sucks. What the game is punishing me for not being amazing at it. Yeah. I mean, you're barely passable at it, let's be honest. Damn. I, I'm not a big <laughs> fan of games that get harder the worse you are at them. Again, like Gradius. I don't think this game is quite as bad as all that. Gradius is like... Man, I played, I, I played through um, Gradius 2 on that Konami Arcade collection from last summer. And that game... That's like Straight the hard Gradius, like right? That's, I mean, they're all none of them are easy, but no. But isn't Gradius two the hardest of them? Um, probably. Uh, I haven't spent very much time there. with four because I don't like it very much. All right, I got another got another weapon. Now you got the that's the best weapon. So don't get anything. Don't touch any chests for the rest of the game. Is what I'm hearing. Well, you're just gonna armor. be the shitty wizard who's gonna. You want armor and you want gold armor, because when you get gold armor you can use magic, and with the knife, the magic spell is the shadow is a shadow ninja, but it's a knight. It's a shadow knight and not a ninja, because you're a knight and not a ninja. Well, I guess we'll never find out. Yeah, I I know, can you break that down again, Alex? Uh, 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 Joe. 
Uh, you get a Shadow Ninja, okay. but it's not a ninja, it's a Shadow Knight, because you're okay. not a ninja, you're a knight. Mm -hmm, I see. And when you say you, do you mean you, or do you uh, mean me? I mean the gallant Knight <laughs> Arthur. And am I Arthur, or are you Arthur? We're the the real Aren't we Arthur, all Arthur was the friends we made along the way. Is Arrthur oh. a member of the bourgeoisie? Because it's weird that there are all these guillotines around here. He's the here. king, dude. He's the like chief of the bourgeoisie. Oh, he's the king. That's the rule, man. That's how it goes. When your name is Arthur, you're, you're the king. king. <laughs> it's gotta be good. Tornado demons sure. suck. Uh, RS Matrix asks if there are any arcade games that are better on console. I mean, there's... sure. Yeah. Bionic Commando. Bionic Commando is a great example, as a matter of fact. Oh, I got a sword now. You shouldn't have traded the knife for a sword. Well, Mike, look, so. that ha it happened, all right? Um, Can't go back in time and Mike change Mike is like it, our right? own little mind of bird. <laughs> skipped over something. Hey, look, here. there's something I dropped. Yeah, What's you know what probably skipped over was another freaking wizard trying to turn me into an old man. <laughs> That's... That is an do accurate it. assessment of what happens in this game. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. if you get your armor on, he turns you into a duck. Yeah. I don't know. I've, I've told Joe this before, but I don't think I enjoy this game very much. I find it really punishing and not, like, super satisfying. Um, Have you tried getting good? No, because I don't enjoy playing the game. See, but when I say this about Dark Souls, I don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, Dark Souls is punishing. It's just also super good. Oh, fun. It is fun. It's good. You're done. I love I love hitting a dragon in the tail seven hundred times. Don't you do that. That's for that. scrubs. There's literally never a time where you do that. Even the one time where you do do that, you don't do that. I mean, you can do that if you want to. I never did that. I never got the you dragon the, sword. The Drake sword. The Drake sword. Drake sword is is you just gonna make you bad. I'm at not the even game. talking about that. I'm talking about Calamity. The time you like actually have to fight a dragon, which you one don't have to do. And two, when that was a good do, fight. Don't eat, yeah, one, it's a good fight, and even when that's what I'm saying is, even when you do fight a dragon, you have to hit him a bunch of times. It's not like that. Fuck I, kill uh, me. It's all about sin, anyways. I appreciate Alex's constant contradictions of himself. Like you never do that, but when you do do that, you don't do that, and then you don't have to fight a dragon, but you do have to fight the dragon, but you don't have to fight the dragon. You never you fight a dragon by fight shooting a dragon. Him. But yeah. Not, you're not doing. It's not like what you're saying. I will say that I have never in my life spent more time trying to learn how to beat a single boss than I did with Ornstein and Smo, but Nightmare King Grimm is getting up there. Yeah. Although I think I have a chance. Today, man, I got... I just didn't bother with Nightmare King Grimm. Like, I was just like, wait, what do I get for this? Oh, that's not worth it. I'm not going to do that. It's not what you get that matters. It's it's the doing it. It's the it's, You climb the mountain because it's there, Joe. Listen, this dude's never played Dark Souls. He doesn't know what's to what. No, I have played Dark Souls. I just didn't like it. This dude's never beaten it. This boy, or, this guy's never enjoyed Dark Souls. So yeah, he's never enjoyed it. Even yeah, fuck beating it. He's never even liked it. That's Did you get problem. this Vi this Vihander, Joe? You should get it. It's good. I had fun with that fact, game. You, you just have to use both. In fact, yeah, on the advice, you get a great club. On the advice a of boss. at least uh, one person that uh, we're talking to right now, I actually started with a mage who threw fireballs because I was told that was the like optimal path for a first playthrough. I mean, the easy uh, way. I mean, it is, but you can have a you can be a mage with fireballs and also use his Y hander. You, you know what's the optimal thing to do in that game is to have a great time using a huge ass sword. You no, know, fuck that. Using a giant tree club. I mean, one of them is they're just one of them has an edge on it. They work the same. No, they I like, don't. I like rapiers and katanas, so we're all gonna be like split on the. That's but those are katanas right. are real sharp. Uh -huh. I, I have not so had much enjoyment with uh, dexterity weapons in that game. I, I think I prefer the the big hits to the like, the thousand cuts. All right. I mean, I, in, yeah, I like them. All weapons are good. They're all created equally, and I like all of them. I'm, I'm done ways. with ghouls and ghosts, or, or whichever one this was. Um, what up, Dark Soul? <laughs> what, t what time is it? It is 11 11. 11, 11, 11. 11. Uh, do we want to do one more game or have you had your fill? Sure, for? we can do one more game. Do uh, whatever you want. Alien, cr devil, uh, alien Crush. Do Alien Crush. Oh, yeah, the uh, the pinball thing, right? Yes. Select music. Demons Bubble Undulate. Crash Night Sabers. Hang on. What I'm 100% one, hmm. choosing Demons there Undulate. License, license Bubblegum Crisis game for PC Engine? That makes like yep. too much sense. Yeah, doesn't it though? Yeah, it really does. 
This is like fucking, what was that NES game that was like a, a Baxis or something? Where Ab it's like, Abadox. Yes. This the is like Deadly Abadox. Inner War. Yeah, except that this yeah. is Pinball. Except this is right, Pinball. Exactly, yeah. It's Alien, I... it's Alien versus Pinball. Like, I just am reminded of that uh, ad that was in a bunch of comic books that was like for Abadox where it was like, this game's like gross. And I was like, well, I don't like that. That game actually <laughs> is pretty gr like, but for the standards of the time, like I, I played it not that long ago for a video I did it a couple years ago. And I remember yeah, being I remember like, that. yeah, and I was like, this game is, I'm surprised this got past Nintendo of America, like that they were yeah. cool with this. Cause this game is actually really gross. Just the yeah. plunger like, on like, this a game skinless is gross. dog is like the first mini boss. Um, and there's like, it's not like, <laughs> he's like, chewing on the ball. <laughs> it's not like Bionic Commando, you have to play through the whole thing for Hitler to say damn and then have his head explode. It's like you immediately start it's playing like Abadox. And yeah, like immediately there's skinless dogs. And like, it's like NES by way of David Cronenberg. It's really weird. Oh, how do you, okay. Oh, that's the tilt button. Okay, there's a tilt button. Yeah, just the plunger in this game is already kind of gross. I mean, this this is video pinball by way of HR Geiger. Right? So. You um, could also play a little bit of Devil's Crush if you wanted to before we go, if you want to switch it up to, like, less aliens and more Satan. This is good, but it's no epic pinball for the 46. Um, so Rhino Nar in the chat asked, is, and I, I can field this question, don't worry, guys. Okay. Is Scud the disposable assassin on Saturn good or <laughs> underrated? Um, so according to one issue of Game Fan I had in 1996, <laughs> that game was great. So I don't actually know, but like somebody from Game Fan in 1996, I, mean, you didn't I really need to remember. continue with the answer after you said according to an issue of Game Fan. Yeah, yeah, it might have been 97 or like 8, I don't remember, but you know, whenever that game came out. <laughs> or if you just said, according to Dave Halverson. Yeah, Dave Halverson. Never, like never mind. Alright, just for fun, we're going to compare this to Devil's Crush. Devil Crush? Devil May Crush. Die Hard Game Fan is, was the magazine that as like a preteen was like just edgy enough for me to think it was cool. <laughs> Yeah, but now when I go back and look at it, I'm like, I have like two issues, and I'm like, one, these layouts are fucking ice hideous. Oh my yeah, god, yeah. these are awful. I can't believe that the like this magazine that was was marginally good. successful with layouts like this. Come on, you're paying per graphic design element on the page. It's a great bargain. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> um, and also, it's just like extremely edge lordy in terms of like the reviews and like it's yep. so too cool for school it was the I 90s game man was like, the, there was only edgelord die yeah. hard game fan is the comic sans of video game magazine. basically <laughs> and i also like as a, as a, as a tween i also used comic sans so like it makes sense really <laughs> I don't know, like, oh, man, they talk about, like, anime in this magazine? That's cool. Like, that's the kind of, like, uh... Those Edgelord magazines, where there was a lot of those. In the, like, I remember I had one issue of a magazine called Flux, and it was super Edgelordy too. The, the layouts weren't as eye-searingly terrible as Game Fan, but it was, like, it was an anime... Like, they had record reviews and anime reviews and game reviews, and it was, like, all of that. Like... Right. You know, it's just like, oh, like, Vampire Hunter D is super dope because there's blood and weird monsters just and blood. The guy with the sword and there's tits and there's And blood. I mean, to be fair, they were, their assessment of Vampire Hunter D was correct <laughs> in their defense. Uh, it is uh, cool in that there is blood and there is blood. I don't really like Vampire Hunter D. Yeah. I mean, the it's sequel is better. The sequel is better. Vampire, sure. Vampire Hunter E. Yes. <laughs> yes. Everybody knows Vampire Hunter D. Cultist really good going around yeah. in the circle. <laughs> I think I like this one better than Alien Crush. I mean, it's got three tiers instead of two. It's like, got a, it's got a bunch of people on the, the field, which, which is the second one. Yeah, it's got a bunch of people walking around on the field, which is cute and funny, but maybe also annoying because it's feels kind of arbitrary. I mean, it does, but I also appreciate that like it's doing something that a real pinball table couldn't do, and like when right. when like ooh, now know, the cultists uh, are brown. Oh, now they're red. <laughs> oh, we're back in Toilet Kids. kids. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice, nice, Alex. Turns out that's what's on the other like side of the forest. Ooh, they got spicy. They're hot now. <laughs> you have to eat spicy one of the cultists cult. and then try and review a video game or something. Yeah. Spicy cultist uh, gaming. I, I kind of miss hot pepper gaming. Now, so. I do. 
Is that gone? I never yeah. really watched it. Okay. Isn't there like it's another been... channel that just does that all the time with celebrities and everything? Probably. I don't know. Did they copy that from Hot Pepper Gaming? I mean, Hot Pepper Gaming was, as far as I knew, the original. Eat a pepper and review a thing, and you can't drink the milk until you're done reviewing the thing. Uh, video series, but you know, who knows? There might have been one before that. I was going around. Oops, wrong button. But, um, yeah, I don't know. This, at the very least, this is better than Crewball, I'm sure. I am not familiar with Crewball. Oh, Eric played it on Genesis or Genesis once. It's the Motley Crew themed pinball game from oh. the Sega Genesis. Featuring chiptune renditions of like Dr. Feel Good and Kickstart My Heart. Wow. That's sick. It sounds good when you say it. I don't know. Yeah. Sounds like everything I ever wanted and more. <laughs> I thought Kiss Pinball on the Dreamcast was everything you ever... Or was that PlayStation? Was everything you ever wanted and more, Alex? I love um, the fish dudes walking around this castle. I'm out of jokes. I don't know. I don't really care about <laughs> pinball. Like, pinball games are fine, but I've never really, like, been into it. I mean, yeah, same. I, uh, these, the, the Max app... Actually, you know what pinball, pinball game pinball. I played a bunch of was that one that came with Windows 95. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I played what a shit that, like, ton of that. Space it was like 3D astronaut. space pinball or something. Like yeah, that. yeah, that sounds right. Something like that. But actually, I think I played more ski free than... Uh, I mean, it's a game pinball. of inches. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I invoked Epic Pinball, but I think that actually is a pretty good old computer pinball game. Was that from Epic Mega Games? Yes, it was. 3D Space Makers Cadet of Jazz Pinball. Jackrabbit and yes. Gears of and War. And Jazz Jackrabbit too. Happening. Yeah, now that I'm looking at this video, like YouTube video of somebody playing this game, I'm like, wow, this is just a super boring, like, bland pinball game. <laughs> well, it was free with Windows 95. Yeah, it was free. So. I'm just like, there's nothing special about it. I'm like looking at the, I'm like, it just looks like any pinball table. Like, but yeah. Well, I got the high score. Nice. Good job, nice. Mike. I knew you could do it. I mean, yeah, exactly. I always believed in you. Perhaps this will uh, mark the end of our Turbo Graphics excursions for tonight. The end of Oz Reign of Tyranny over the Double Crush table. Uh, so thank you all for joining me as we uh, explored the library of the TG16 NPCE. Um, I think we should do once once Joe Tago's uh, uh, CPS one core is out of beta, we should do another one of these. Sure. In the CPS one, I think, and just uh, kind of. I mean, I, I I back his Patreon, so I guess I could do one now. But I, I, in some ways, it's more fun for me to kibitz at Mike and talk about talk shit about how bad he is at video games. Mm -hmm. And I'm having fun getting learning how to use my capture card. Which appears to have worked okay today. Yeah, it looked like it worked fine. In fact, the stream says it's a 1080p, 60 frames per second. So mm -hmm. are you on a hard line, Mike? Uh, yes, my computer is hardwired, yes. Okay. And I upgraded my internet recently, so it's actually oh, not no. too terrible. Yeah, it seems to be working okay. I hope I'm not dropping frames. Anyway, TG16, that's a thing. Maybe you should buy a mini TG16 or build a mister. Either way, you can play Devil Crush. Devil Crash. Maxat Pinball Devil Crash. Um, bye, everyone. Everyone say goodbye. Bye. Bye, bye everybody. Mike.